I'm here to talk to you today about The City of Ember. It's a kid's book written for about fifth grade or so, but I liked it as an adult too because I like the object lesson behind it and it's a pretty good story too. So these 12 year olds live in a town that is completely self encased. You can't find any other town from there. Um, people of the town really don't know how they got there. They just know that the city builders set it up for them some 200 years ago and everything just runs. They've got electricity, they've got a 200 year supply of food and when they're 12 years old they get a job and life just goes on. But there's a problem. They were supposed to leave this town after year 200 but somehow the message got lost and so the people don't know. Now the supplies are dwindling, the electricity is failing, and the town is in trouble. Are they going to make it out of the situation alive? Well, we hope so, thanks to Lina Mayfield, who finds out some information and then she has to decide, is a 12-year-old allowed to question authority? If she sees something that's going wrong, can she say something about it? So obviously you see where I'm going with this. You're never too young to make a difference. And it's never too late. If you see something that's wrong, and if you have the means to change it, do so. When you see a problem, it doesn't matter if you're the mayor or if you're a 12-year-old kid. Do something about it. When there needs to be a change, make the change. There are a couple other things to know that this helps us know. First of all, if you don't know your history, you're going to get in trouble because you don't know how to avoid the things that went wrong. If you are completely obedient to all authority everywhere, you're going to get in trouble because some authority figure has told you to do something wrong. You need to be able to know right and wrong yourself and do something about it. Read this book and then read uh, The City of Sparks too, the, excuse me, The People of Sparks too, and then she's got a couple other sequels. She's a good author. She used to be a school teacher. And there's also a movie starring Bill Murray as the mayor. So if you like Bill Murray's style of humor, you'll like that movie. And until I see you again, make time for tea and a good book.